What's up guys? So I told you guys last week that I was going to be doing this week a bunch of non-fragrance review related video. Uh, I did a, a fragrance terminology video two days ago, a channel update yesterday, and I told you today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to decant. So if you are somebody who likes um, to collect, you have a lot of fragrances and you wanted to make some money by decanting some of the larger fragrance bottles that you have, some of the more popular ones that you don't use as much, some of the more um, unique eclectic fragrances that you can't wear except for in certain situations. I'm going to tell you the three most efficient ways to decant fragrances as well as to how to label it, how to ship it, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and without further ado, let's get it. All right, my dudes, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video and a different type of video because I'm teaching you how to decant. Before I get into the video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff so we can get straight into it. And if you do like my content, consider following me on Instagram and TikTok. So um, before we get into this actual um, decanting process, I do wanna let you know, there is a bunch of different types of bottles that have different types of atomizers. Um, for instance, you have your non-removable atomizers like this. They are either like glued on or they're soldered on or there's some type of like glass welded on, whatever it might be. Then you have fragrances like this is the most known version of it uh, where the atomizer actually screws right off and you can just stick a um, one of these into it and just suck it on out and put it right into your decant or even pour it right in. That is a very easy way. Just make sure that you're not, you don't have to twist too hard. So if your bottle does it, it'll automatically twist off. If it doesn't, it's not going to. So there's a bunch of different ways to decant fragrances. Obviously, the first thing I wanna let you guys know, and I had this issue when I first started decanting. So when I first started my decants, I was trying to save money, so I just, got the decants where they just pop off. They don't have a screw lid on it like this, where you have to screw it on and off. They would just pop on and pop off. And that causes a lot of leaks because you cannot seal it. You can try to put tape around it, you can do all that. And the only time I've ever had a leak when I sent it to somebody was when I used those, and I sent it to one of my subs and it leaked out. Uh, with that said, I do want to let you know the best ones to get, you can get them on Amazon. I get these in packs of 50, if you can tell, and they're usually $14 for either the 5 mil or the 2 mil. The 5 mils I usually use for my designers and the 2 mils for the niche. So that's the best way to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you the best ways to do the decant. So the first one here, I'm just going to do my Boss Bottled here because I have a few bottles of it. Uh, the easiest one to do is you hold it at an angle and then you take the bottle and you take the atomizer and you line it straight up and you just spray it right in and you just you don't have to push it all the way down just only do it a little bit and you want to do this over a sink or have a paper towel handy because it does tend to with the smaller ones at least it's going to pour over and then you want to press it very lightly until you can get it almost all the way filled like that so that is the easiest way if you're just trying to do one very quickly and you don't mind getting it on your finger or whatever, that is the easiest way. Uh, you obviously, you can wipe it off if you did get anything on there. I didn't get anything on. So then you take your Teflon tape. Teflon tape is usually found on Amazon for about $2 for a three pack. It, it can last you years. And some people say you can do it counterclockwise. Some people say do it clockwise. I just do it however I know it, and it has never leaked for me once. And I've decanted probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So you make one wrap around, and then you just keep wrapping. I usually wrap it about five times, and then you just put your thumb over the top like this, and it pops right off. You just make sure that it's level. So this is what it should look like, something like that. And then take this and you screw it right on. I know some people say that it rips it if you don't, but I have never in a million years had any issues putting on and having it leaking like that. 
It also savers the lifetime of the decant. So if you're trying to decant your own stuff, or if you get a bunch of samples, I like to take like sample cards, for instance. I had a few sample cards of this, and what I did was I just poured it into one of my things, and now it's lasted me quite a long time. Uh, I do wanna let you know, people always say that you should buy a labeler, which is probably about 40 or $50, and then you don't get the paper with it. You also have to buy the paper. I honestly think the best way to do it is to just, it looks just like a, it should. I mean, look at this, it's just a normal piece of paper that I just put a blue background on and typed Roja Vetiver. Uh, get a cool little font and then you put a piece of tape around it and it looks just like it was already labeled. So I don't think that you actually need to buy a labeler or anything like that. So that is your first way to decant. The second way to decant, I'm not going to physically show you because it's pretty much the exact same way as the other one. Um, if you buy one of these um, decant kits, where it comes with the 50 decants or 25 decants, it usually comes with this little um, funnel and you just take the same thing if you don't want to get any on your hands and you just spray it and spray it and it goes through the funnel. And then when you're filled, take it out and then you have to wash it off every time you're done. So now we're gonna to go to the most convenient way. If you are going to be decanting to a lot of people or you want a mess-free way that's not gonna get on your hands and it honestly, once you get the first part down, it's gonna be super easy to decant pretty much anything. So what you do is you buy a syringe, whether it's from the dollar store or wherever you get it, Walmart, uh, Amazon, they're like a buck. And then you find any piece of metal, uh, one that you can hopefully hold by the end that's long enough I got this in a decanting pack, and so with that said, I used a nail for a long time. You take a lighter, you light it uh, for about 10 seconds, or until, like mine, the end is black. You stick it into the end of the, um, why can't I think of the name of it, of the syringe, and then you just rotate it around just a little bit to where it melts just a little bit, a bigger hole. And then what you do is you will Open up the atomizer, so where you can see the actual white part of the atom atomizer, and you will stick it on top of here after it's obviously cold for a second. And then you wanna wait until, you might have to do it three or four times. You don't wanna make the hole too big. You wanna make it just snug enough to fit on top of the atomizer and so that no air gets in or out. And so what you do is you just press it down and then you just, while you're pressing down, so in this case, I can't really do it on the video because I need two hands, but you press it down and then you pull up on the atomizer and then you can choose how many milliliters you want. Right now I have three, but you could go up to five and then you pull it off and you are good to go. So again, once you get the, uh, you might need like two syringes to finally master it, which Again, I did, it took me a couple months to even get the hole perfectly, but now I can decant as much as I want whenever I want. And then all you do is you take it out and you squirt it slowly into the decant until it is completely filled like that. And then you have your decant of Wanted by Night. You have no fluid on your hands and you are good to go. So again, and then you label it and you are all good. Once you are done uh, decanting the product, the easiest way I found is you go to, the, um, again, dollar store, you can go to the post office, and you just cut a strip like this. And then what you would do is you would take the first one and you will roll it just once. Then if you have a second one, you put it there, then you roll it again, then a third one, then you roll it again, and then you tuck the sides over and tape it. And then once you do that, you put it into a, uh, the best, people use boxes all the time, but if you use boxes, it's more expensive. The best way to do it is just to get a padded envelope, like a bubble envelope, and put it inside there. That's all I've ever used. I've, again, I've never had a leak with any of these type of fragrance uh, decants, and you are good to go. So again, the three main things you need to know is that you want to uh, either do your spray or the syringe once you mastered it. You want to see what type of bottle you have, and so you can twist it off. And then you want to put that Teflon tape on at least five spins around, then screw it on. Make sure you have the screwable atomizer. If not, it's just going to 
screw you all up. Um, but anyway, then you label it with a piece of paper with a blue background, whatever background you want. You don't need to buy a labeler and then put a piece of tape around it, ship it out. You will never have a leak. And again, it's going to last longer. I have the decants from Nordstrom's that don't have a screw on top and they last about a month and then they completely evaporate. These ones, I have had ones from last year, two years ago that haven't hardly evaporated at all because of the fact that that Teflon tape was on there. Again, I don't get any leaks. You don't really need to do counterclockwise. If you want to, then you can. Um, again, just the best way for me to do it is if I'm just doing one, just to spray it. I don't like to use the funnel. I think the funnel is just a waste of time because then you have to wash the funnel after every time that you're spraying it. Unless you're doing five decants of one fragrance. But then at the end of the day, the best one is to learn how to melt the inside of the syringe so that it fits right around the atomizer. That's the best way to do it. So again, those are three different ways to decant. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know below. Also, you can take them to the do not buy your shipping labels online. Go to the post office and tell them you want the cheapest way to ship. And it usually gets there in two days and it's about three or four dollars. Or you can go to pirate ship, which is probably about two to three dollars. And then you can order your um, what's it called online, your your shipping label. So other than that, again, let me know below if you have any comments, questions, whatever about decanting. And I'll be back with another video. We have our collection video. So I have about eight to ten collections to review for you guys. And that will be tomorrow. So thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one. Peace.